Good evening. Let's see. How are you, everyone? Good evening. Good evening teacher. Teacher. Great Good evening. evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Hello, everybody. Hello, there you over there. <laughs> I'm pretty good, Fabiola. Thanks for asking. How about you? I'm fine, teacher. This day uh, is very long for me. Mm, you have a lot of classes? Yes. In the morning, I teach. In the afternoon, I go to, uh, how do you say, classes de refuerzo? Uh, reinforced classes. Reinforced classes. Uh, reinforced class. All right, excellent. It's good for you, Fabiola. Good. <laughs> excellent. What subjects do you teach? Mathematics, science? Mathematics. Mathematics in the morning, but in the afternoon, uh, every subject. Excellent. Math, science, and language. Yes. Social studies. Everything. Yes. Okay, excellent. Very good. And you're learning English? That's great. <laughs> Let's see, Rene Samuel. How are you, Rene? I'm fine. Very good. Excellent. Good for you. Let's see, Noemi. How are you? Hello, Miss. I'm fine. Thank you. I was a busy day today. <laughs> Yeah, you look tired, like, I'm happy to be here, but at the same time, I'm tired. <laughs> it's the last class. Yes, that's great, excellent, good. And you have not missed any class as far as I believe. <laughs> no, because the last, uh, in, uh, in basic three, uh -huh. I, I had a, one day out mm -hmm. of class um, the, um, and you the were out after, the day after the mm -hmm. uh, corporate called me oh, oh. Me. yes i got you but it's good you know why because also you are not staying behind you are with the content just in the level excellent it's good to see you, Noemi. Me va a dar tic cada vez que diga Noemi. All right, very good. Let's see, Rafael, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. I was a, a busy day and I had some meeting and the traffic was horrible. Overwhelming, I know, I know, I got you, my <laughs> friend. <laughs> but it's good to see you in class. Congratulations to you. You're not missing any class. Yes. <laughs> Excellent, very good. Let's see, Marvin, how are you, Marvin? I fine, thank you, teacher. It's so good. Great, pretty good. Excellent, Marvin. Jessica, how are you, Jessica? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. Excellent. Very really good, Jessica. I hear you like, hello, teacher. <laughs> Give some rhythm, some mood. Let's get into the mood of the class. <laughs> yes. Welcome, Jessica. It's a pleasure to see you. Diane, how are you, Diane? Hi, teacher. Very well. Excellent. And you? I'm great. Thank you so much for asking. How's your mother? Mm, so, so. Mm, yeah, I got you. Okay, let's hope she gets better. Let's see, Cesar. How are you, Cesar? Uh, yeah, good evening. I'm pleasure. Very great, too. Excellent. Great. Good to see you, Cesar. Let's see, Claudia Maria. How are you? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. I'm very well. And you? I'm great. Thanks for asking. Hey, Claudia. You were not in class yesterday, right? 
We missed you. No, I had problem with my computer. Ah, oh, yeah, but we miss you, honey. Good to see you in class. Thanks. Let's see. Who else do I have? Crisia, how are you, Crisia? Hi, good evening, teacher. I'm great, thank you. Excellent. And you? I'm great too, thanks for asking. It's good to see you in okay. class, Crisia. Excellent. Thank you. Florence, how are you over there, Florence? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. I feel tired, but it's normal for me. <laughs> <laughs> That's usual. <laughs> Yes, that day was very long. Yeah, I'm listening to everyone's opinions about today, and everybody and everybody's telling me today it was really busy for me, or the traffic, or overwhelming. And I'm like, you're right, <laughs> you're right. Yes, but it's but good to see you in class. A, yes, it's very important for me to learn English because I like so much. Excellent, very good, that's motivation. Great, welcome yes. Florence. Good, because today we're going to practice pretty much a lot. Let's okay. see, <laughs> Luis Alonso. Hi, Luis, I didn't saw you yesterday. I didn't see you yesterday. Hello, teacher. Not no teacher, I, I work yesterday, teacher, in ah. my house. Okay, okay, excellent way. We miss you in class. Only, we miss your participation. Only class, only class, teacher. Only class. Only class, only class. Okay, excellent. Very good. Good. Great. Let's see. So I see it's Fatima, but you are under the name Luis Enrique. <laughs> oh no, I have not changed the name of my son. Ah, okay, yeah, and I remember that your name is Fatima. <laughs> yeah, sorry. How are you, Fatima? I'm fine and very busy, but fine. And three days, very, very easy because my son had exam and the work. <laughs> Yeah, very good, Farima. It's good to see you in class. Excellent. Thanks. Let's see, Elvis. How are you? Hi, teacher. And you? How's I'm going great. today? It's great that you are great, my friend. <laughs> welcome to today's <laughs> class. All right, everyone. So, welcome, Andrea Sosa, Lisette Velasco, and Sar Senor Raul. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Hi, teacher. Hi. Hi. All right, everyone. It's good to see you. And let's get into the content. So let's see. Hmm. We have reviewing content, learn, and final exam. That's the topic for today's class. We are in our last class, everyone. Congratulations to you that you get to your goal. It's great. You accomplished everything and you are going to be in the next level. Excellent. So today is Tuesday, August 17, 2021. That's today's date. Let's see what do we have in here. Do you remember? Let's see. Number one, mention the structure for just no questions in present continuous. Let's see, Marvin. If it's not Marvin, let me see. Cesar, tell me the structure. For just no questions in present continuous. Expression uh, verb to be plus. Yeah, uh huh. Uh, structure is 
appear to be plus toche plus bear uh, continuous uh, I and G mm -hmm. plus Very complement uh, plus question mark 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 question mark question mark, 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 question mark. Excellent. Very good, Cesar. Great. That's great. Let's go with number two. Mention the structure for WH questions in present continuous. Let me see. Florence? Yes, I'm thinking. <laughs> um, WH plus uh, verb to be plus um, uh, subject plus verb ing plus complement plus question mark. Bravo, excellent. That was a tough one, I know, because it's long. <laughs> excellent, very good, Florence. Thank you. Let's see, Noemi, when do we use quantifiers? Um, when we are not sure or we don't know about the percentage or, or some things. Mm -hmm, exactly. We, we use quantifiers. Excellent, there you have it, very good. When we are not sure, we use quantifiers. Excellent, very good. Let's see, number four, mention at least three quantifiers, Andrea Sosa. Um, nearly, uh -huh. many, a lot of. A lot of, exactly, very good. Fabiola, mention three quantifiers, please. A few, some, a lot of. Excellent, very really good, thank you. Sarseño Raul, mention three quantifiers, please. A lot of, much, uh, money. Excellent, there you have it, thank you. All right, let's see, Rafael. The noun that follows a quantifier should be on plural or singular. Singular. Mm, I, <laughs> I think. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's see. Somebody else. Rafael, let's see. Who else do I have in here? Crisia, there you are, Crisia. So the noun that follows the quantifier should be in plural or in singular? It's in plural. Plural, there you have it. Very good, thank you. Rafael, I, I say plural, plural. <laughs> <laughs> All right, excellent, very good. Let's see, my dear students. I have one, one last question, which is not in here. And I'm going to ask to Walter. Let's see, Walter, tell me at least two plural nouns that you remember. Uh -huh. no, 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 okay, let's see, Diane, tell me. I remember place, uh, people, uh, book, dress, sign, jerk, friends. Um, Only those, excellent, very good, there you have it. Yes, everyone, for example, places, um, people, as Diane mentioned, and we have quite another ones. Let me see if I have them in here. Yes. I'm going to move to that part right now. Plural nouns. For the ones that doesn't have this, check, keep an eye on this. 
Netherlands. We have people, we have places, we have countries. When I mean places, I'm not talking about one per one place and another place. No, I'm talking about the noun places. That's the noun places, all right? I'm not talking about, let's suppose, um, the living room and the bathroom. No, talking about that word, place. Then we have countries. I'm not talking about Europe and El Salvador. No, we're talking about the word countries. Then we have books, dresses, things, times, years, and friends. So there you have it. These are some of the most common plural nouns that we can have. And there you have it. Okay, very good, thank you. Now let's go to this information as Noemi mentioned. We use quantifiers when we are not sure or we don't know the percentage of something. Please keep this in mind, just in case that somebody asks you something related to this. And let's go with the practice time. Now yesterday, and I have your names in here. Yesterday, some of you practiced, some others, weren't able to practice yesterday, but today you are going to be. For example, Jessica, Noemi, Karina Jimenez, Cesar, Lisette, Velasco, Fabiola, Farima, Karina, Elvis Abrego, and Walter, you already participate in this part, okay? So you don't need to participate. Let's go with the ones that didn't participate yesterday. I'm going to start with Florence. Let's see, Florence. A lot of people have black hair. <laughs> Excellent, very good. <laughs> yeah, that, that was an easy one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Florence, thank you. Let's see. I have Luis Alonso. Tell me your sentence, please. Mm. Some some people uh, travel in, in airplane. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Some people travel by airplane. All right. In that case, you need the bike. Very good. Okay. Very good, Luis. Okay. Thank you. Then I'm going to need Andrea Sosa. Uh, my brother has has many friends. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my brother has many friends. Excellent. <clears throat> Let me see. Crisia, Crisia Muñoz. A lot of people live in poorness. Poorness, yes, you're right. Very good, Crisia. Rafael. I have many lambs in my room. All right, very good. You're a collectionist. Excellent, very good. Let's go with Marvin. Hello, teacher, sorry. Hello there, Marvin. Tell me your sentence. Your microphone is off. Hello, hello. I'm sometimes go out to dinner with my family. Okay. That one is sometimes. And here in quantifiers, we are about, we're talking most likely about measures of, of things. So let's keep an eye on that one. Let's see. Um, Farima, Farima, the one that is under the, no, the name Luis Enrique. <laughs> okay. She has some apples on the table. Okay, very good. Some apples. Excellent. And let's see. 
Claudia Maria, you were not in here last class, but I don't know if you want, if you can't actually create one sentence using quantifiers, please. Yes, um, I like all things about cats. All right, everything, very good. <laughs> Claudia, excellent, Claudia. And let's see, Diane, you haven't passed, right, Diane? Tell me yours. All Salvadorian people love pupusas. Mm -hmm, exactly. <laughs> well, I have met some people that they don't like, but they are weird. <laughs> no, just kidding. Everyone has its own taste. Very good, Diane, thank you. Karina Marisol. Nearly all women love by shoes. Mm -hmm, exactly. Very good. And let me see. Rene Samuel. René Samuel, are you there? What? <coughs> uh -huh. Tell me your sentence using quantifiers. Uh, no. You don't have it? No, have it. Okay, don't worry. You're going to see some examples in there, okay? But let's try to work on this so that we don't lose the content let's see i'm going to use i'm going to need actually milagro do you have your uh sentence milagro yes teacher uh, my coffee has a little sugar okay very good yeah or you could also use doesn't have much sugar. It could be either Mark? or. Huh? Un poco? Uh -huh. Yes, you can use a little or, it, oh no, you can use little sugar or much sugar. In this case, okay. if you use much, we're going to use my coffee doesn't have much sugar, all right? Okay. Excellent, very good, Milagro, thank you. It's good to see you in class, Milagro, we missed you. Thank you, teacher. Excellent, and now let's see the last one, Jimmy. Do you have your sentence, Jimmy? Yes, there is much bread for dinner. Okay, excellent, very good, yeah, all right. Let's see everyone, let's move on. Thank you so much for your sentences. All of them were pretty good. And let's see what do we have in here about practice. Let's check this. Let me make it bigger. Okay. Jessica, Elizabeth, can you please read this chart? Okay. Repeat, teacher. Can you please read this one, this chart? When do? When do we use a lighter or a firm? Repeat after me. A little. A little. A few. A few. Excellent. Very good. Continue, Jessica. Uh -huh. A little uh, contemplate now, a fair contemplate now. Thank you very much. And there you have the examples. Cesar, tell me the examples that we have in there. He has a little money left. Mm -hmm. He has a few dollars left. Excellent, very good. There you have it, everyone. This is like extra information for you to have it. And let me see, let's move on to this one. Much and many, Rafael, please read the information. Your microphone, Rafael. Mm. 
We can't hear you. All right, let's see if somebody else can help me. Let's see, Jamie. Read the information about much and many, please. When do we use much, many? Much, uncountable noun, many, countable noun. Excellent, very good. Fabiola, give me the examples. Number five, how much money have you got? Number two, how many dollars have you got? Thank you very much. So there you have it. Copy this information on your notebooks, please. This is extra for you, and I think it could help you. Let me know whenever you're finished. Yeah, finish. Finish. And very good. Finish. Excellent. <clears throat> All righty, y'all. So let's move on. We have this other information. Luis Alonso, read the information about some, any. Uh, when do you, do we use some, any? Uh, some affirmative sentences, countable and countable nouns, any, Question and negative sentence, sentences, uh, control and control nouns. Thank you very much. Milagro, please tell me the examples. Your microphone, Milagro. Sorry, teacher. No they aren't. Um, There's. Esa es una contracción. There's? Sí. They are, aren't there. There aren't. Oh, in here, Milarito. In this chart where it says some and any, the examples. There's okay. some cheese. Okay. Sorry, sorry, teacher. Don't worry. Examples. The, there's some cheese. There are not any cheese. Thank you very much. All right, everyone, as you can see, this is good to know, right? It means that we can use some in affirmative sentence only, and we can use it either with uncountable nouns or uncountable nouns. And there you also have any, which is good because you can use it in negative or in affirmative or positive questions all right so there you have it copy this on your notebooks and then we have an exercise
finished. Great, excellent. Now we also have, I'm going to move this over here. And we also have an exercise, right? We have exercises. It says choose the correct answer. All right. So work on this, please. There are only three. There are not a lot of them, just three. Work on them, please. Complete them. You're going to complete these exercises with some or any. Finish. And we're good. All right, let's see. Let's start with the exercise. I'm going to ask Lisette Velasco, tell me, what do you have for number one? There aren't any cars, cars in the center of, of, of fourth. Excellent, very good, exactly. And it was pretty good because we are using any and we know that any could be in either negative or Simple questions, right? In affirmative. Thank you very much. And let's go with C. Fabiola, number two. Eating out is expensive here. There aren't any cheap restaurants. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Very good. Thank you. Last but not least, Claudia Maria, number three. There are some expensive new flats near the river. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So there you have it, everyone. This was like a short uh, guide or exercises to practice for you. And it's great that you already have this information. I was waiting for this moment to give you this information so that you already have it and you also have examples, okay? Now in here, you know, these are the basic uh, sentences that we had from last class. And this one, which are the plural nouns, some examples of the plural nouns that we have, but you also notice, thanks to this information that you saw today, now you know that some of the quantifiers can be used with countable and uncountable nouns, right? So there you have it. Let's see about this one. Crisia, read this information, please, in the green short. Take into consideration that all quantifiers come before the plural nouns. Mm -hmm. There you have it, thank you. This is also part of the information that you already have right now. We're just having a review. But as I told you, my dear students, you already noticed that we can use countable and uncountable nouns. And then we have this one. We do not forget about no one. Let's see, Fatima Karina, read information about no one. We have one quantifier that comes before a no one. Thank you. Let's see. Mm, 
Andrea Sosa, tell me the examples that we have in here. Uh, number one, no one works more than 10 hours, hours? Uh -huh. hours? per day. And two, no one thinks about global warming nowadays. Thank you, excellent. And there you have it. This is, uh, you already have this information. So I think that we can move on. Now, the part that you've been waiting for. <laughs> let's see, let's get into the review of the final exam. I hope all of you finished the exam yesterday, but let's check. We have letter C or part C, multiple choice. Let's see the instructions. Cesar, read the instructions. Instruction choice, the correct word. Mm -hmm. Thank you, choose the correct word. There you have it. So number one, letter A. Noemi, what do you have for that one? Number one, letter A. J does jobs for Every morning before breakfast. Right, let's see. Let's see if it's true. Yes, you had it correct. Very good. Yoga. Excellent. Let's go with number two, Fabiola. Number two. How often do you go swimming in the summer? Let's see. Exactly, very good. We're using the verb go, no do, nor play. We want to use those because they do not apply in this sentence or basically in this question. Let's go with number three, Florence. I sometimes play ba baseball with my friends. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Exactly, very good. We are not able to use the other two activities because they do not apply with this verb, which is play. All right, so there you have it. This is part of the exam. Take notes if you want. If not, let's move on. So we have Audrey. I think that the pronunciation of her last name is tat tattoo or tattoo you. I don't know, I'm not sure. But her name is Audrey, and that's the important part in here. Let's see. Let's just start with. Hmm, Marvin. Read the first paragraph, please. Audrey Tattoo You is a young. Audrey Tattoos is a young French actress. She has fun around the world. Here are some interesting things about outdoor life and career. Thank you very much. Karina Marisol, please read the information of 1978. 1978, Audrey is born in Belmont, France. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Let's see, Elvis Abrego, read the information from 1980 and 1990s. Andre, actress is played especially comedies in high school. After that, she goes to action school. She wins the prize best newcomer. newcomer. For her uh, action, acting, acting, uh -huh. acting on French TV in 1999. Very good. There you have it. Thank you. Let's see, Walter, continue with 2000, 2002, please. Audrey, after many movies, including the shows. That's French. You can move on. That's French. 2000. Then she play a woman called Amelie in a movie of the same name. 
Amelie 2001 is in French, but the film is a big international hit. Audrey became popular in many countries, including the, the United States. Audrey is also out in a film color. Do is great, great. I am not 2001. Okay, thank you so much. Very good. So you see, whenever you find out uh, French words, don't worry. You don't need to tell me the French words because in here we're not learning French. All right, so there you have it. Very good. So it's pretty good, interesting information about this actress, right? Let's see if somebody else can help me. Farima. Farima Riva. Yes, 2003. Audrey has a big year. She acts in the Spanish apartment and he loves me. He loves me not. She also acts in dirty pretty things. The first time she speaks English in a movie. And very good, thank you. So there you have it. Actually, everything that you're going to find out in the exam that it's asking you, it's in here, in here the information, in this information, sorry. All right, you don't need to invent, you don't need to do anything else. Just read carefully this information and you will find out the answers. Let's see, number one, in high school, Audrey Tattoo <laughs> acts, Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Andrea Sosa, what do you have for that one? For number one. Ah, uh, in the movies. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's see. Thank you, Andrea. Let's see if it's true. Ah. Uh. Place. All right. Yes, you need to be very careful with your reading in here because it says that Audrey acts in place. All right. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's a specific. Okay. All right. Thank you, Andreita. Let's see. Karina Jimenez, number two, please. Many Americans like the movie Amelie. All right, let's see. Yes, very good, eh? Amelia, huh? Very good, excellent, Karina, thank you. Thanks. Welcome. And let's see, Jocelyn Rodriguez, number three, please. Andre, I've seen the three movies in. Mm -hmm. What's the answer? Let's see, Grisia, do you have the answer of number three? Hmm, what about you, Rafael? Do you have the answer for number three? 2003. All right. Excellent, very good. If you notice, it says in, and I don't know if you already saw this topic, everyone, about prepositions, not to get, with, not to get confused with prepositions of place, because in prepositions of place, we have in, on, under, but in these ones, when we use in, we're talking about dates, years, right? So this is like something that is going to help you to see if you're going to use a year in this case. That's pretty much correct. Let's go with number four, Florence. In her movies, Andre usually speak French. Let's see if it's true. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So there you have it, everyone. Pretty good. So I hope you already finished the exam. If not, here you have some help. But I rather to know that you already finished the exam, right? 
And I'm happy for you if you did, that's great. If not, we already saw the review. Now let's get to some practice. My dear students, we're not leaving yet. We are missing a couple of minutes. So let's see. Of course, do you remember possessive adjectives, right? So let's see, I'm going to ask Cesar, tell me at least three possessive adjectives that you remember. Uh, again, question, please. Oh, no, tell me three possessive adjectives that you remember. Any possessive adjective, but I need three. Possessive adjectives. Um, possessive adjectives in on up. No. Mm, those are oh, prepositions no. of place. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. I went, please. <laughs> possessive of my. Uh huh. Horse, mm -hmm. uh, my, 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 his, her, his, okay. or Very good. Very good. Thank you. Excellent, Cesar. Excellent. All right, everyone. So you heard your friend. You already know possessive adjectives. My, your, her, his, their, our, or our, any, either or. And there you have it. Please use them to complete these exercises and then all of you are going to participate. In these exercises, you have the case already. Like you have the information that you need. For example, number one, I have got a dog. This is, right? Nice. So you already have extra information that is going to help you to see which possessive adjective you're going to use. My. Mm -hmm. You have to complete all these exercises, please. Finish. Excellent, very good. Finish. Yay. Finish. Excellent. Teacher. Yes. Me acabo de volver a conectar. Let's see who's talking. I don't recognize your voice. <laughs> Tell me your name, please. René Samuel. Ah, se yes. Me, se me fue la luz. Uy, don't worry, René. It's good that at least you're here again. Right now we are practicing with possessive adjectives, René. If you remember, well, in any case, Florence already brought them down in the chat. So, ella tiene la copia. <laughs> All right. All right, let's start, everyone. Number one, Diane. And I have 
got a dog. This is my dog. Exactly, very good. It's good because actually we are using the subject I, right? So we know that we are talking about ourselves. Excellent, Diane, very good. Fatima Rivas, number two. You have got a present. This is your present. Very good. There you have it. Thank you. Farima Karina, number three. Tom has got a new bike. This is her bike. Mm, Tom is a he or a she. If we're talking he? about subject, uh -huh, it's a he. So what's his possessive he. adjective? He. His. His. Excellent. Very good. Excellent. There you have it. Elvis Abrego. Number four, please. Mary has got a blue jacket. This is uh, uh sorry teacher, I didn't there. Mm, let's see, let's see, let's think about it. No lo voy a dejar irse tan fácil. <laughs> let's see, let's see. If my possessive adjective for a man or for a boy, it's his. My possessive adjective for a girl or for a woman is her. her. Uh -huh, her. Exactly. So Mary is, ¿es una ella o un él, Mary? Uh, she. Uh -huh. So what's my possessive adjective? Um, her. Uh -huh, exactly. Very good. Very good. <laughs> this you. is her. 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 Okay. Yeah, this is her jacket. Yay, very good, Elvis. Thank you. Thank thank you. you. Let's see, Rafael. Number five. Uh, giraffe has got a long neck. Its legs are long too. Very good, excellent. It's good that you notice that when we're talking about an animal, we don't know its gender, right? We don't know if it's a hair or a his. We don't, we're not sure. So we use the common one, it's. Right? Thank you very much, Rafael. Uh, let me see, Claudia, number six. We have got a new house. This is our house. Excellent, there you have it, very good. All right, everyone, so before, before we go, let me see. Let's make these ones with WH, only these ones. We have eight, all right? It says, fill in questions, fill in the questions words, the question words to complete sentences. We have what, where, how, why, who, and who. Right? I'm going to give you one minute to finish. Teacher, what's the meaning of who's? Who's? Mm, ¿Quién? Thank you. Who's? ¿Quién? Okay. What do you think mean book tip? Repeat again, please. Uh, what is the meat of pocket? Meat. Ah, pocket. I'm not sure. I think it's not part of the English vocabulary, but let me look for it, all right? I think it's a name because it starts with capital. Yeah, it's a name. 
It's like an island, like an island, I think so. But it's a name because it starts with capital. Finish. Excellent, very good. Now listen everyone, in here you won't find out all the answers, for example, that one. I'm just doing a parenthesis in here. For example, the one that, <laughs> tranquila, Diane. <Diet. laughs> for example, the one that Caesar asked about Puck, that's an island from Bangkok. So that's why I'm telling you, not all the answers, you're going to find them down in here, but do not worry about the answers. I need the questions, all right? The questions, I need you to form the questions. The answers are not my biggest problem in here, just I need the questions. All right, so I think we may start. Milagro, what do you have for question number one? Open your microphone. Sorry, what are you doing? Exactly, very good, excellent. Don't worry about the answer because right now we don't have complete the information, right? We don't have the entire information. But what I needed to see is which WH word you are using and what is correct, my friend. Thank you. Let's see, Fabiola, number two. Number two, where are you going? Mm -hmm. Excellent, very really good. Jessica Elizabeth, number three. How do you go to a school? Repeat again, please. How do you go to a school? Exactly, thank you. Karina Marisol, number four. What is your mom cooking for us? Mm -hmm, exactly. Armando Antonio, number five. Okay, Noemi, thank you. Let's see, Armando Antonio, number five. If not Marvin, number five. Number five. Why? Uh -huh. Why is she crying? Exactly, correct. Andrea Sosa, number six. And number six. Uh, what are you making for me? Mm, all right, let's see if somebody else has something else in here. Let's see, Florence. Thank you, Andrea. Let's see, Florence, what do you have for number six? Cause are you waiting for? Okay, yeah. Here it, here it goes, my information for you guys. We are going to use who's depending on the contents. It doesn't mean that we can use it forever or in every context. And this one is who are you waiting for? I don't know if you remember my dear students, but we saw some examples using this last part of the sentence, right? For. So that's when we know that we can use who, all right? Thank you, Florence and Andrea. Karina Jimenez, number seven. How old is your sister? Mm -hmm, exactly. And last but not least, not, not least Elsie de Carballo, number eight. Oh. 
If not, Jimmy. Number eight, please. How are you? How are you? Exactly. Very good. All right, everyone. So there you have it. That was pretty much it for today's class, your practice time. I'm happy that you already finished your course. I think you're going to the next level and that's great. I'm happy for you guys. So I wish you the best, all right? Don't give up, keep learning. Every day we'll learn something new, right? So take advantage of it, all right? Goodbye, everyone. Take care, have a great night. Goodbye, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, bye thank you. Bye, bye. Thank you for everything. you. All right, you're welcome. A pleasure. Thank you for your teacher. All right, you're welcome. Teacher. Yes. I heard that somebody called me, but I don't know. Really, <laughs> said, <laughs> Usted me llamó, ¿verdad? Sí, que sí, siempre sería un nivel e intermedio. Mm, no, no sé. No sé. Ahí sí me agarran curva porque de eso no sé. O sería otro nivel ya. Pues no o sé, sea, ustedes no le han brindado todavía la información, eh, Lisette, para matricularse no. ya en el próximo. Un correo que les envían con un formulario. Ah, sí, intermedio dos. Mm, okay. Okay, Entonces, okay. Ese ¿Y cuántos yo? intermedios son? Es que ese era el problema. Ah, ¿cuántos? Mm, no sé, Lisa, pero le puedo averiguar. You're welcome, Noemi. Thank you for your comment. Okay. Great. Thank you. All right, Lisa, there you have it. Sure, one question. Tell me your question. What is the difference in no one and nobody? Mm, it's going to depend on the context in which we are being developed. It's actually pretty much the same, but as I told you, you're going to need a different context in which you're being developed. Basically, pretty much all of the words that we are using on our daily basis depend on the context in which we are, all right? Basically, both of them means the same, but it's going to be different in each context. Okay, thank you, Shuja. You're welcome. Sure. Everyone, uh -huh. para que uh -huh. se ocupa el once, el once, once, who's, who's, ajá, who y who's son lo mismo, quién, pero who's lo util es lo que les estaba mencionando hace unos segunditos. Va a depender mucho del contexto en el que nos estemos desarrollando. También who's puede significar para quién, All right? Okay. Pero no tiene que ser en, en plural o singular. No, no. Porque tú puedes decir, who's that person? Y person no, no es eh, plural, singular. Así que puede variar, puede ser ya sea singular o plural. Ok, thank you. All right, excellent, there you have it. ¿Hoy sí? <laughs> no more Bye. questions? No, no more. Very good, everyone. So take care, Bye. goodbye. Goodbye, teacher. Thank Bye -bye. you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye, teacher.